Freddie, first and foremost, welcome to Ipswich Town and to Portman Road. How has your day been? Uh, my day's been quite hectic. You know, we've had a lot to do today. But luckily, I only live in Romford, so it was only like an hour drive to get up here. Mm. But in terms of like the medical and getting scans done and, you know, just getting everything wrapped up, it has been a very long day. Talk us through that process of... Uh, We've been shadowing you from a media point of view, but you've been with uh, Matt Byard, the physio, and a few people at the training ground. How has your day been? Yeah, I saw Matt first. I mean, done a quick scan for for everything, you know, just to see if you know my joints and everything's working. They okay? Yeah. <laughs> Before I signed, and then after I saw the doctor, and then he checked all the things that he needed to do, and then after I went to the hospital to go get the scans and you know just get everything else sorted out. Mm. Yeah. Well. Wow. After all of that, you then completed the paperwork and how do you feel that you've now signed for Ipswich Town? Oh, I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing. I couldn't be happier. I mean, it's a club that everyone knows of, you know of, with great history, great mm. fans and everything. And, you know, I just can't wait to be out there and playing in front of those fans, yeah. How have the uh, conversations been with uh, Mark Ashton and, of course, Kieran McKenna, who, who you met earlier today as well? Yeah, and we've met previously before that, and we've spoken previously before that, and I think he was a great influence in me coming here. Yeah. Because the conversations that we had, I mean, we got on really well, you know, in terms of talking about family life and football as well. So it helps when you connect with a manager in that mm. sense. And I do thoroughly enjoy his thought process and his views and his objectives that he's trying to achieve, you know, they f- fit in with mine exactly. Mm. What, are, uh, what are your plans for next season? Well, hopefully score a lot of goals, <laughs> hopefully win some titles and win as much as possible. Mm. I think this is a great club that needs to be in higher places and I think we definitely can do that. I think it's fair to say as well, I know you've played at Portman Road before, but you genuinely seemed quite amazed at the size of the stadium when we were going around today and how much are you looking forward to now playing here as a home player? Yeah, the, the stadium is massive. Like I said, I've only been through probably half of this stadium and, you know, it's just wonderful to see. I knew my family loved it. Mm. You know, they enjoyed walking around. They enjoyed, you know, being taken through everywhere. And I can't wait to play, honestly. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about your, your background this season? Because you, you have enjoyed success with Rotherham and uh, how do you assess that campaign? I've had great success with Rotherham. I went there, you know, looking to play in the championship, looking to win things, looking to be a part of, you know, something that can move forward. And mm. with two promotions and a cup win the last season, you know, we had a wonderful chance to play at Wembley. That was my first time playing at Wembley in front of so many fans as well. Mm. So that was great. And that kind of success is something I'm hoping and I'm, you know, I'll work my hardest to bring to Ipswich Town. Yeah, now that you are going to be an Ipswich Town player, what can the fans expect from you? Uh, goals is obviously the obvious thing to say and yeah. I'm sure they'll be very appreciative if I can get those goals but you know I'm going to work hard I'm going to just try my hardest and you know I'll try to drive the standards up and you know get everyone on that same winning mentality and winning side because I think it's already there the football's already there the managers uh, methods and everything's already there mm. and hopefully I can just help continue that and before coming back for pre-season and all of that work, have you got any uh, trips planned and hopefully some relaxation, some family time, that type of thing? Uh, to be fair, I only just found out today that we're back in seat, so <laughs> I'm going to have to deliberate and you know check what I'm doing this summer, but I will sneak off and get a few days off and you know relax and get all the stress off now because it has been a hectic summer. Mm. And finally, we've spoken about how busy your day has been. You were with the club, I think, from about 9am until 4 or 5pm. It was a long day for you. Not so much food, but you snuck a meal deal in there. Just wondering what you went for. <laughs> well, uh, someone got me, uh, I think it was a BLT with an Oasis, which mm. was all right. Uh, the packet of crisps I didn't really appreciate too much. You know, yeah. I could have done with a bit of chocolate Kit Kat or something. But, you know, I appreciate it. And they've looked after me and my family very well today. And I thank them a lot. Well, cop.tesco will uh, sort you out for some more meal deals and all the best here at town, Freddie. Thank you very much.